from this junction with the 60. It's only a little ways further to get to the turnoff. After coming east uh, to here from uh, over there on the 60, it's 0.7 miles. You turn off on an unmarked two track that will curve around and head over that way and then down under those telephone wires and you'll see a little side road here just past the pipeline crossing and you'll see this sign this uh, may or may not be here but it's just past uh, the pipeline crossing and it's uh, before these three trees this is where it gets rough going up into here this is the mountain at the top of the first hill, you have already decided to walk or not. I drove. And you can drive up further into these little meadows up here before this final hill. The hike is in this area. There's no specific way. Or you can go all the way up to the ridge line and then hike the entire ridge line across. There's a few cliffs that you can't get through, so you have to plan on basically going up into this little pocket here or hiking up back over in here. All right, on the approach, parked down in this drainage right after the first hill, hiked up here. Most people just hike along these that road, go up and around, but you can, Go up this little um, step here. Here's my wing for um, scale. A little steppy scramble. Not bad. Most of the ridge has a rock step. This is the rock step where it is at its minimum, which happens to have a nice smooth area to launch in. One of the things to note is that this is a bit of a small cliff and it can cause, you know, a gust that you're not expecting. It's a little too windy today. Here we are at the bottom of the Blue Springs launch. There's a little bluff here. This launch takes uh, a west. This is looking northwest. This is looking towards Mount Taylor. It's looking west. This is the direction the wind's coming in. It's a bit powerful right now at about 15. Ladrones. Down here you see uh, some possible LZ areas. Again, there's no official LZ. It's basically just this front plateau right behind, or right in front of me here road uh, has some spots right next to it as well. Lots of pilots try to land over on that side so they don't have to hike back. If it comes too south, obviously we run into this mountain and some weird flows. So can't have south. And it definitely doesn't work with a lot of north because it just slides across and uh, it also has this venturi where the railroad goes into. The launch itself is about 20 degrees, maybe 25 degrees, and it's nice and grassy, has some rocks and a few little gravities, but for the most part, for New Mexican standards, it's very clear. Again, it took me about 35 minutes to hike up here. A side note I did not mention uh, that's important with this site is it is a thermic site um, in certain of the year especially and can get raging. Uh, it also is largely considered a ridge site. One thing to note is that it is in a low notch between the Manzanos and these southern mountains. These are called the Uvis Mountains. This is part of the Sevilla Wild Life Refuge. So it can come raging in here because this is a little uh, hole in the mountain range. And